Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and X-Men Red issue number two. What's that up on top? It is going to be a Where is Wolverine? It's not that good. They're never really that good. Like, the coolest one was the one that was last week in Black Panther, but uh, I totally forgot to even mention it, so psh, missed opportunity. So anyway, X-Men Red, we also see the debut, the debut of a new character. Uh, this girl here, um, Trinary. So she is basically a, uh, a mutant technopath, so she can speak to computers and hear them back, so, like they're, they're, they're living. So anyway, um, she saw what happened to Jean Grey, uh, what, that Jean Grey apparently murdered this uh, senator, or the, the, excuse me, this dign dignitary ambassador from, I think it was Great Britain, if I'm remembering correctly. Anyway, so she thinks that she can help, but first she's going to need help. And she set up a, a plan that if she does go missing, that this uh, message would go out to Wakanda and uh, Jean Grey would actually have to type in her bank account number in order to read this message. So we could be sure that it actually got to her. Anyway, um, this is a pretty good comic, man, for all intents and purposes. Like, they go and try and rescue her. They're, she's in New Delhi, and um, the mutant... Uh, task force, the, the the Indian version of the mutant task force is there. And it's cool. This guy, uh, Lakshi Singh, I think his name is Lakshi. Anyway, he's Mr. Singh. He's the head of this task force. So Jean has to get some information from him. So what does she do? She gives him the uh, mental illusion that he's going to walk into a Starbucks or whatever and order a coffee. Instead, he walks into a, a an alley and, and she's able to, and while he's ordering fake coffee in there, uh, she's going through his mind. <laughs> and Honey Badger's funny in this, man. There's a whole bunch of really funny things in here with Honey Badger. I have not been reading the all-new Wolverine, but this Honey Badger character is at least funny in here. So she's she's a cutie. Let's see what she'll, what she'll do in the future comic books. Uh, so they are able to go in and rescue this girl, but on the way out, all of a sudden, a... Um, a sentinel appears. Well, actually, he summons a sentinel. Comes out of the ground in Delhi. Not too good for the X-Men. And uh, next issue is going to be this here. Gambit is going to show up. Why do they always bring up Gambit? Why are they always like, ah, you know what? We need Gambit to show up. <laughs> so uh, we're getting a whole lot of cool stuff about uh, Gentle in here, too, which I'm kind of digging. I'm kind of digging. Anyway, uh, for the intents and purposes, I'm going to give this comic book an A-. minus. This was pretty good. I definitely enjoyed reading this. Um, this was this was good. Like, there's a lot of good startup in here. Again, it is a first issue, so issue number two of X Men. It is a first appearance of um, a new mutant. So yeah, there's that. Anyway, um, I know a lot of you guys like to collect first appearances. I like to collect first appearances. I've got a first appearance right here. So the Wolverine thing. Where is Wolverine? Where is Logan? He's actually. Um, it's funny, they are actually calling Wolverine. I just, I don't know, had that brain fart. So he's he's in Delhi, a couple of buildings away. He could see the shadow of the Sentinel from much further away. And this one kid goes and falls as he's trying to run. He's holding a no mutant sign and Wolverine picks him up. It's like, get up, bub. It's like, oh, thanks. It's all the fault of these mutants, you know? He's like, yeah, 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 whatever. It's like, you should run. These streets are no longer safe. He's like, yeah, you know what? Whatever. I got better things to do. So, like, he could have gone and taken out the Sentinel in a heartbeat, but I'm sure he trusts his pseudo-daughter <laughs> to take care of it and, and her clone. So, yeah, it shouldn't be too much of an issue to take out the Sentinel, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, um, I would still want to know what exactly it is that he's doing. I know that he's eventually trying to get to Matrapur. We just saw it in issue number... And then again, he's got the space gym. He can just teleport there, so I don't even know what he's doing. But um, go and make sure you check out Infinity Countdown, issue number one, the review. Just put it up this week also, uh, first day on Wednesday. Uh, that'll be one of the first comics reviews going out to see exactly what Wolverine did with that space gem. All right, guys, that's it for me. Professor Bell, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.